It's a historic day for the state of Israel, as months of mass protests have now reached a boiling point. Tens of thousands are here in Jerusalem in front of the Israeli parliament, the Knesset, to protest against the controversial judicial overhaul legislation, as well as Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's decision to fire his defense minister, Yoav Gallant, on Sunday. Gallant had called for a halt to the legislation. The public outcry against these moves reached unprecedented heights in the country. On Monday morning, the Hizhadrut, Israel's largest workers' union, announced a widespread cross-sector strike that is expected to continue until the reform is permanently taken off the docket. The high-tech sector also announced they would go on strike. Meanwhile, Ben Gurion Airport stopped all the parting flights. Israel's largest hospitals joined the protests. Major universities, student groups and much more froze their activities until further notice. Asaf Samir, Israel's Consul General in New York, also announced his resignation. And several mayors said they will go on hunger strike in front of the Prime Minister's office in Jerusalem. Though these mass protests have been ongoing for months now, they've rapidly escalated in recent days. Hundreds of thousands of protesters took to the streets in a night of riots and demonstrations on Sunday. Some estimates say that nearly 700,000 participated in the overnight rallies, making them the largest protests so far. Despite the widespread unrest, lawmakers in a review panel approved a bill that would grant the governing coalition the power to handpick judges and amend Israel's constitutional framework. The bill is now ready to be brought before the parliament for its final readings. Other parts of the legislation are slated to be brought before the Knesset before lawmakers at a later date, including a clause that would grant the parliament the power to override Supreme Court decisions with a simple majority of 61 out of 120 Knesset members. It's important to note that these mass protests are coming at a particularly sensitive time in the country. According to media reports, House Defense Minister Yoav Gallant warned that based on intelligence report, there is a clear and present danger to Israel. Gallant said Israel's enemies could use the widespread unrest in the country as an opportunity to attack. This is also happening as Muslims celebrate Ramadan and Jews prepare to mark Passover. It comes ahead of Israel's 75th Independence Day celebrations, which are taking place next month. From Jerusalem, Maya Margit, reporting for the Media Line.